Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I thought I would do a little haul for you. I hit Trader Joe's and Aldi. I haven't done this in a while. Thought I would show you what I got for the week. I'm trying to go like some prepared things. I have a my 50 year old exam on Thursday, so won't be eating anything on Wednesday and probably not much on Thursday. So I thought just get some convenient stuff. So let's show you what I got. So first I went to Aldi and I spent $16.92. I got just some grilled chicken strips already prepared, like one carb. I grabbed some black forest ham. Again, just quick and easy. Oh, this stuff here, Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Seasoning. I got this at Costco. OMG, guys, is it so good. Oh, I just wanted to share that with you. But that was from Costco, and I think it was like $7.99 for this big container. But that's not Aldi. Sour cream, you know, for all the things. I grabbed uh, some crushed red pepper. I haven't... I've been out for a while and I saw it and I'm like, I need some of that because I really enjoy it. Uh, my Stevia packet, I just grabbed this for my coffee. This is what I typically use and this is Stevia and Erythritol blend. And you always want to check because the bag that is under the same name has more sweet, has um, maltodextrin and some other things in it. So you want to always check. So I grabbed that. I grabbed two pork rinds to have with my like wraps and stuff. And I got some heavy cream for my coffee. And this will last a little more than a week, maybe like a week and a half, depending on how much coffee I have. So then I went to Trader Joe's and I spent $30.65 at Trader Joe's, but it's okay. I got some fun stuff. I grabbed some baby broccoli. Look at that. Is that not amazing i love it it looks so fresh i can't wait to roast it up i'll just put like some garlic butter on it oh that is gonna be delicious i grabbed an english cucumber because who doesn't need a cucumber in their life i grabbed some ricola sugar-free my throat's been hurting with my allergies and i like to have these on hand and i was out just you know to help out because you know these are himica wraps so they're thinly sliced, and it says great for tacos, wraps, and you need to keep it refrigerated. The Himica fruit is pretty big, and it has the consistency, I think, of like a potato and an apple combined. I like Himica. I'm excited to have these. And they have three carbs per wrap, so that's not bad at all. And I'm going to make, I'll show you here in a minute, I'm going to make a little bit of chicken on a wrap with some mayonnaise and probably some cheese. I'll show you. And maybe some of this furry kake. It is Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. It has white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, nori, which is seaweed, salt, and kelp powder. It's good on eggs, ramen, fish, popcorn, or any food you choose. Doesn't that look good? We'll put some of that on there. I got a bottle of liquid stevia. This is two fluid ounces. It's just plain, which is fine. My other bottle that I bought that has the liquid stevia and vanilla, I spilled half of it on my counter. Ugh, rude. I know, right? And then I saw some TikTokers trying this and I decided I needed to try it too. It's instant cold brew coffee. Like, doesn't that sound amazing? It's instant coffee for sure, but it's cold brewed and... It can be served chilled or even hot. It can have nothing, you know, you can just fix it however you fix it. And one teaspoon makes a 12 ounce cup. So I thought we would try that. For a snack this week, I got some everything uh, but the bagel seasoned almonds and cashews, cause yum, who doesn't need that for a snack? And then going with my, I'm just gonna be a lazy sloth all week, I got some pre-boiled and peeled eggs. This is a six pack, which should be fine. And it's gonna be cut delicious with some of this seasoning. I know, right? So that's everything I got today at the grocery. Plus I, got, I have food here. And if I pick up anything else, I will add to it. But I am gonna make a himica wrap here in a second and I'll show you how I do it. All right, friends, we got the himica wrap. These, 
And what I'm gonna do is store them in here uh, because I want them to stay airtight. And I don't think that this container will. Let's see if that'll work in there. It will not, so I'm just going to store that down there. Like that. Trying not to use all the reusable stuff. But I will show you, this is pretty darn flexible. I was thinking it would like crack, but it's not going to. So I have two on my plate, and then I'm just gonna take some chicken. We're just gonna make some small wraps, nothing too giant. Uh, so a couple pieces of chicken, right? Cause we're hungry and we need some protein in our diet. So we did that get a little more so there we go there's our chicken I do want to put a little bit of cheese on them not a lot just a little but how easy is this a little mayonnaise I love these stand-up containers and then you can do whatever seasonings you like if you like seasonings I'm gonna try this Japanese style seasoning. Oh, I tasted it. It's fishy. It is nutty. It's salty. Oh, it's so good. And then when I want to eat it, I will just wrap it up like a little burrito. These would be perfect for like fish tacos or shrimp tacos or regular tacos. This is good, this himaka. A little expensive. This package was $4. Uh, I don't know how many servings. Six servings per container. And one serving is two wraps. So there's 12 wraps and that's three carbs right there. That's very reasonable for a meal, for a um, keto meal. So there you go, that's what I'm having for lunch. I didn't really have breakfast today. I had a keto brownie. That was my treat for yesterday, but I wasn't feeling it when I got home from my ride. So um, yeah, this is exciting. There's This says there's one carb in here, but I don't think I used a whole tablespoon. Mayonnaise and cheese and that's it. So I'm gonna put all this away and get to eating on that. Um, like I said, you should try it. It's um. You know, it's delicious. It's crunchy. Mmm. Guys, right, that's good. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. I'm going to have to get some more of these when these are gone. Egg salad would be good in there. Tuna salad. The flavor of the Himika does not overpower anything. It's very tasty. You too should try it. All right. We'll be back when I make dinner. All right, guys, it's time to make dinner. It's a little early, but it's gonna take a minute. Sorry, I'm getting one more ingredient. So I saw this on TikTok. This is the bagel top. I just need to toast it, but I want it to come to room temperature. But I saw this on the TikToks and somebody was wanting some tomato basil soup and they took tomato sauce the rouse rao brand you hungry i got a hungry kitty um to make it so i bought this tomato sauce from thrive market it is keto it's nice and low carb i don't like it it's low sodium but there's just not a lot of it tastes like raw tomatoes and i'm not a fan of raw tomato let's just be truthful here so i'm gonna cook it down and I am going to add one packet of sweetener and that just helps with the bitterness. I used probably that much of it as tomato sauce and I'm gonna cook the rest and make tomato soup. I will not eat it all at one time because that's a lot of carbohydrates for me. Now the consistency is chunky, but what I'm gonna do is cook it down, add some cream to it to make it a creamy tomato basil. And then I have a um, immersion blender that we're gonna run it through the blender and try to get it to loosen up a little bit or chop down some of the tomato, I guess is the better way to put it. 
And I think it, okay, buddy, I will feed you. My little baby's hungry. I will add, I'm almost out of salt back here, but I will add some salt to it. Not a ton, but enough to get it going. I'll taste it. Um, some red pepper flakes, because I was out of those. Just not a lot, just a little bit to give it some heat. And maybe we'll grind some pepper into it. So I think that will help kind of doctor up the flavor here. Then I'm going to toast this half a bagel and put some butter on it and make it like a grilled cheese without, you know, it's an Asiago bagel. So there's already cheese involved. And I have my spoon on a plate so I don't, well, my little rubber spatula. I got to get a big rubber spatula, but I'm trying not to make metal on metal sounds for you guys. And if you just saw this slosh, this is why I'm wearing an apron. I don't want tomato all over my shirt. Now I just want to give it a taste. Mmm. Like already it's better. It needs a little olive oil too. Just a little tad of olive oil. That is personal preference. This is just like raw tomato here, guys. So I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to let it come to a low simmer and just simmer for a little bit. We're going to, I'll bring you back when I add some cream and then we run the immersion blender to see how it's going. And then I'll take toast up my English or my half a bagel here. I'll show you. So there's a keto cafe and I picked up a bagel for breakfast. But it was large, so I cut it in half. So I'm just going to toast the top half and let it room temperature for a while. And then um, we'll get rid of this jar now. And that's going to be dinner tonight. Add a little cream. Probably we'll put a little more salt in it because it didn't. I don't think it had any salt whatsoever. If I had like some chicken stock, that would be good in here or some beef bouillon would be good. But we're just gonna let it low simmer. I don't want it boiling and I don't want it splatting all over my kitchen. So there we go, I think that's gonna be yummy. Even if I don't get it blended, the tomatoes will be um, cooked. You know what I mean? And I like them cooked. Yep, that's perfect. All right, let's let this simmer and I'll bring you back. Okay, here we go. We have it, it's come to a simmer. It's delicious. So what we're gonna do now is add some cream. Not a lot, I don't wanna make it overly thin. Right, but I want it to be a um, creamy tomato soup. So it needs a little more cream. There we go. You can use half and half, you can use milk. I mean, heck, I think people even use like almond milk. Now we're gonna try the immersion blender. I tried it earlier and it wasn't working good, but we'll see now. <laughs> Just trying to get a good blend on. Right? Let me turn this down. I'm gonna turn that off. Let's try doing it this way. There we go. chop up some of the tomato. And it goes in its own little 
container and then right into the sink. And now it's nice and thin and there'll be chunks in here of tomato, that's okay. But that to me looks like a tomato basil. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, guys. That is wonderful. Let me plate it up and I will show you what it looks like. Here it is. Here's my keto tomato soup with a little bagel bread. Oh, and I'm just gonna do a little dip. Mmm, mm mm mm. -mm. Guys, that is so good. And it hits a spot. I I love tomato soup. But this is like hyped up tomato basil. This is better than Campbell's. Nothing wrong with Campbell's. I love it. But that will be my dinner tonight. So I hope you enjoy my little day of what I bought at the grocery store and a couple things I cooked. Have a good one.